Hi folks, Irish Trekkie, back with another Star Trek The Vicious Starships Collection review. This time featuring the Starship Enterprise set of three. Featuring the Enterprise C, D and E, as you can see here. This came out a long time ago and it's available on the online store. Uh, check out the bottom of the video here for pricing. But um, thanks to the generosity of Alan, uh, a longtime viewer of the channel and uh, active participant on Facebook, um, he sent me this to have a quick look at. And um, it was something that I was on my kind of radar for a while and uh, eternally grateful um, for him sending me this. And uh, don't worry, the post got a little bit rough on the way, <laughs> hence the little bit of the tear here, but it hasn't affected any of the models that I can see. But I decided to do a video on it uh, for those that may be new to the collection or may not be subscribers and uh, may just want uh, some ships, some select ships. And this is one way of uh, getting these three ships. They are available individually as well. But this is a small form factor magazine along with the three ships. So let's do an unbox. Uh, not atypical because it's kind of opened at the top. But we have our Enterprise C, Enterprise D, Galaxy Class, Ambassador Class, and Sovereign Class Enterprise E. And we have a nice magazine. I can actually turn it around and stop knocking things. There's the magazine. So it's actually a very thick but small form factor. And I actually like this size of magazine. Um, but we'll have a quick look at that in a moment. So here are the three ships. So um, again, these are, again, I think three fan favorite ships. Uh, more, ones more than others. There's a couple of issues with the Enterprise C. Uh, missing impulse, missing phasers and such, which don't appear to be corrected out of the box. Um, but we'll have a quick look at these. I won't go into too much detail as I have done individual reviews, which I will link in the description below of each of these. But um, we'll have a look at the magazine um, in a few moments as well. So let's put these ships to one side and uh, we'll have a look at the magazine. And don't forget, there are other packs available as well. So do check out the Eagle Moss online store to see what is available, be it in pack or be it in individual form. So let's put these guys to one side and let's have a look at this magazine, shall we? So here we have the three ships in similar formation, which is actually kind of cool, I must admit. Uh, Enterprise C, D and E. So these are going to be an amalgamation of the individual magazines. So you can see that there is multiple sections here. So uh, specifications of the Enterprise C along with the profile, designing the ship, making of yesterday's Enterprise and on-screen appearances. And then we had the specifications of the D, again, profile, designing, filming the ship and on-screen appearances. And then finished up with the Enterprise E, profile, designing the ship, filming and on-screen appearances. With three nice um, top-down views of the ship as well. So like we're all uh, familiar with, we have our specifications run down with our mounting instructions. And just like the other magazine, it's actually kind of comfortable to hold. It's, it's kind of like the size of like an iPad mini, a bit bigger um, than that, just to kind of give you a sense of scale. Actually, I will give you a sense of scale because I've recently done my Issue 71 review. And there you can see the difference in size. Now, it's more of a matte finish versus the gloss as well. But I actually kind of like that as well. So there you go. So again, we have our... Um, ah, there we go. Our rundown of the USS Enterprise C. Captain Rachel Gart, indeed. So it's all the same information, all the same uh, graphics and layouts that we're familiar with. Here we have our profile of the Ambassador class, lovely ship. I have one in Star Trek Online. Actually, I have two on Star Trek Online. And here is, this is actually in Star Trek Online as well, which is actually cool, Guardian class, they call it. But this was the uh, Andy Probert's uh, preliminary uh, sketch as well, drawn showing the Enterprise C might look like, um, which is actually quite a nice looking ship. It's a shame that that seam 
kind of takes away from one of the great features of it. Then we have again rundowns of designing the ship. Going through that fantastic episode yesterday's Enterprise, Tashi Air. And then that finishes up with on screen appearances. Again with the Enterprise D. And I'm, I'm just running through these for those that haven't seen the pre uh, previous reviews individually. But I do go into a little bit more detail on all of these. So there's our specification. Our profile on the ship itself. Fantastic graphic there. Running away from the Borgo. And that iconic bridge. Saucer separation. And again some nice accompanying uh, graphics to demonstrate that as well. Which is fantastic. Here we have the ship profile, outlining some of the main features and given some little factoids on both sides. And again, here we have another rundown of designing the Enterprise D as well. So again, Probert um, was instrumental in the designing of this as well. So you can see the evolution of it. Huge detail there on the secondary um, bridge section and that this is the drive section clamping mechanism that clamped into the saucer section here's what could have been as well maybe these were secondary warp nacelles or something akin to that filming the enterprise d so we have our studio models down there as well good quality magazine actually and then on-screen appearances and then we have john eve's enterprise e from first contact insurrections and nemesis fantastic shot there Beautiful looking ship. Again, continuing the profile. Here we have her in the shipyard there as well. Oh, face to face. That was such an awesome shot. But I do, every time I see it, I do feel sad. You know, data. Oh, here we have our Elcar system display. Which is, it'd be nice to see more of that on the ships uh, in the collection as well. Um, here we have our profile. Good graphics company. And then here we have designing. One of my favorite sections in all the magazines as well. So you can see the evolution of it forward swept, um, back uh, swept pylons, different neck and drive section configurations as well. I'm very happy with the way it, led, it, it ended up actually. And always an evolving ship as well from first contact right up to insurrections and nemesis. Uh, here we have some different pylon layouts as well, which is quite cool. Filming NCC 1701. Physical model as well. And then saucer separation and on screen appearances. And then a nice little graphic there of the ships. What's your favourite? Uh, I know it's a tough question, but what's your favourite ship of the collection so far? Or what's your most anticipated ship yet to come? Maybe it's not even revealed yet. But we're going to close out in the back graphic here. And um, let's have a look at the ships themselves. So here we have Rachel Garrett's USS Enterprise NCC 1701C Ambassador class. This is quite a sizable model with some very good paint applications on it. Now this particular one has a bit of an issue with the pennant along the um, starboard nacelle. But some of the features that were missing on the original one are still missing here. Aft phaser banks, impulse engine as well. Other than those, it, I still think it's a pretty good model. Um, size general configuration and application of the paint and sculpt as well it's just a shame some of those key features are missing now i didn't really have any major issues from memory off my one as regards to like the graphic anomalies here but um overall you can see again nice sharp window layout good paint and a decent size and well sculpted model nonetheless but it's up to you whether the missing features, phaser bank impulse engine, would cause you some concern or some grievances as well. But I'll leave that up to you. So here we have Captain Picard's Galaxy Class USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. Probably among, definitely among, if not my most favourite ship in the collection. It does fluctuate from time to time. But you can just see this was a spectacular ship to begin with. Fantastic detail on the windows, escape pods, phaser banks, nice crisp decaling paint applications, solid sculpt, you know, it is unmistakably very accurate to the galaxy that we're all familiar with, be it um, through the TV series and paint wise, um, akin to the uh, Generations uh, film as well. 
So this one has a slight bleed on the phaser bank on one side. Nothing too crazy, but just show off the bit of the seam there. Again, these are die cast models as well. Not full die cast, some of it is actually plastic as well. But do check out the full review and uh, to get more up close and personal imagery of this beautiful ship. Last but not least, we have Captain Picard's USS Enterprise NCC 1701E Sovereign Cast from Sovereign Class from the movies First Contact, Insurrection, and Nemesis. So, this is a pretty decent model. As you can see, there's quite a lot of uh, bold Aztec with some very good detailing on it. Uh, it's a shame it's on the smaller side. I always have that eternal hope that this will be released along with the other Enterprises as a special uh, size ship. But um, again, a very good representation of the Sovereign. There's quite a lot of detail on it um, for the scaling of it. And I think you're going to be very happy overall uh, with this particular ship. But um, again, if you want to see a little bit more detail of this particular model, do check out the individual reviews of each of these ships that I will link in the description box below. And that concludes my rundown of the Starship Enterprise set of three pack available from the Eagle Moss online store. Uh, check out the link in the description below, uh, bringing you directly to that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget you can like, share, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. And if you feel so inclined, I do have a Patreon link there that you can support the channel as well. But I've been Irish Trekkie, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy and goodbye. Thank you.